here we are to talk about WordPress, and uh, I'd like to uh, continue with our theme exploration here, and uh, let's talk a little more about the navigation. So looking at the navigation here, you may want to make um, the current choice um, highlighted in some way, or, or colored, or styled differently from the other links, right? That's always a good idea to show your user, like, where they're currently at. Um, so, you know, for example, if I click on social calendar, then the social calendar, you know, link should be highlighted, right? Or if I click on, you know, um, caring causes, maybe departments should be highlighted and caring causes should be, you know, a different color or, or select it, show a selected state or something, right? So how can we do that? I'm going to click on this social calendar link right here first, and then I will inspect it. And when I look at it here, you'll see that each, each one of these links is the same. And it's made up of a list item containing an anchor tag. Okay, so it's two tags. There's a list item and then an anchor inside. So the anchor is the actual link that you click on. And this is what's going to have the style on it. So we have to style this. If we just style the list item, it's kind of like we're styling the wrapper. And the anchor tag has its own color. Right, so, you know, just styling the color on the list item won't show anything differently, but if we style the color of the A tag, then we'll actually see the color change here. Um, so if we look at this carefully, what you'll see is the list item, and remember, I, I clicked on social calendar, because that's the page that we're on right now, okay? And so social calendar, the LI tag for that link, right, has um, these classes. It's got menu item menu item type taxonomy, menu item object category, and current menu item. And if I look at the other menu items, like the, the party photos link, you'll see this list item has menu item, menu item type taxonomy, menu item object category, and menu item 70. It doesn't have current menu item. So only the link pointing to the current page content, right, will have current menu item. Okay, this class name right here. Okay, so I'm just going to copy that name, and I'll go to my style sheet, and I have all my menu styles here, so maybe right below the menu styles, what I'm going to do is I'm going to style the list item with the class current menu item. Okay, so that's what this means. Li, there's no space there. This would be a descendant, right, and that is not what we have. We have a list item with this class name. And again, like we can't really style the list item, this is not going to work, okay? What we need to do is we need to style the anchor tag inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my, my selector like this. I'm going to say list item, current, you know, current, current menu item, and then child anchor tag, okay? And then I can set the color. So maybe I'll just make the color red so we can see it. Um, <clears throat> so I'll save that. We'll go back to our page here and uh, refresh it and you can see now we're on social calendar and social calendar shows up in red right and if i click on features then features shows red or if i show archives then archives is going to be the selected link right um, if i go to departments now with the sub menu and i go to let's say caring causes you'll see that departments doesn't highlight, but caring causes is highlighted. And maybe you want that. You might want to show departments with a style also. So, um, you know, and you can do that. If we inspect departments, now remember departments, this link here is an ancestor to the sub UL and LI and A tags that are inside it, okay? So if I inspect departments, you'll see that it gets a... <coughs> It gets another class, okay? So, uh, so here we are. This is the the link for departments, right? I can see it there. I'm just inspecting it, right? And when I read it, you'll see that it actually has a whole bunch of class names, right? It's got menu item, menu item type taxonomy, menu item object category, current category ancestor, and current menu ancestor, and then current menu parent and current category parent, right? So we can actually use almost any of these current ones, okay? 
um, you know, it, it depends on how your menu is set up, um, where these might make a difference, or you might want to use one of these over another. But I think in this category here, um, you know, parent means that we're one level up, and my menu only has is only one menu deep. If you had a multi-level drop down and you still wanted this to highlight, you'd make sure you'd use current category ancestor or current menu ancestor. Okay, I'm actually going to use this one. I'm going to use current menu ancestor. Okay. So maybe I want the departments also to show in red, or maybe I want it to have an underline or something to show me when, you know, we're in this, this underneath departments, right? So I'll, I'll copy the name here, the class name, and I'll go to my style sheet and I'll say uh, li, oops, wait, uh, li dot current menu ancestor child anchor tag, okay? And then you can give it any style you want. Maybe I'll do it um, color, you know, red, and text decoration, you know, underline or something. I don't know, right? You, you know, you could come up with whatever style you wanted to use there. But this um, this is how we're going to target that, that element, right? So we'll save that. We'll go up here. We'll refresh. And then now you can see this one's red, and it gets the underline, okay? Um, and you could style, in this case, you might even style the list item. Maybe you want the list item to, uh, to highlight in some way, right? Um, but anyway, that should get you started on that, right? So what I'm doing is I'm just looking at the class names here that WordPress provides for the links that it creates, okay? And there you go. And so you need to use, uh, you need to take a look at, you know, current menu item and current menu ancestor. So anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope that is helpful.